All right, so this is the solo lesson for Best Friends Girl, played by Elliot Easton. And I did uh, another lesson on all the rhythm parts and the keyboard parts. If you click that um, I up there in the corner, or the link in the description box below, it'll take you to my website, and you can you can see that there. As long as um, as as well as I should say the demo that I played of it. Um, so, anyways, let's get into it. We're in the key of E here, and the solo is going to start over the A chord. The changes for the solo are just A to B to E. Did that there, but we know we know if you watch a rhythm video, it's played like that. Okay, so let's get into it. This is how it's gonna start. Really, really cool. And way harder than it might look. So what you gotta do there is we're gonna slide up. We're over the A. So we've got this pentatonic position. the fifth position of the pentatonic scale. So we're starting here, landing on the fifth of the A. Right, so we're landing on the fifth, then we're going to go and land on the root. And what I do is I use my third finger to do those slides. You know, you don't want to go Right, because you're, you know, you just, you can't do it that way. So replace that finger now, with that finger, and then and the last one is. A, and then we've got um, the fifth and the third, and that's in that sixth form. Now the chord changes to B, so he puts this really sweet look in there. And that's, um, again, we've got those sixth. It's that, but just up two frets. And we're going to bend both strings. And we're going to pick that, hybrid pick that lick. So the pick on the G and the middle finger on the E. Just to get that will be a lot of work for most guitar players. And the picking, you know, you're going to have to sort your picking out. So what I do is, it's a downstroke and a slide, and then an upstroke and a downstroke. And like sometimes I'll go, and then do another down. Last one, we're kind of upstroke on the E string and then downstroke on both the G and the E. And that's not too bad at that speed. But up to the speed of the song. It's really quick. Um, and I had to work on that quite a bit to get it smooth. So then the next lick, hybrid picked, and then we're going to go. Okay, and that's so cool. We're still on the B chord, so he's bending here. 
So we're bending up to the third and the root, and then bending down to the third and the root of an A chord. So you're getting you're getting an A over a B bass. Really clever. And the technique of that. hybrid pick that too but the only thing I hybrid picked in this solo was that and if that's too tricky you could always go just slide that down B to the A right? so all together so far And for me, the hardest part was going from getting that bend right up to speed. See, that was flat. That was good. In fact, you could spend time just doing that. And throw the rest in as you go along but get getting that right is tough okay so that was sharp that was good now we're gonna come up here we're still in the A chord And we're going to hit this E note, which is the fifth of the A chord. And then we're going to go. And if you think about it, what's, what do you got there? It's an A chord. So. Right? Really smart playing. Um, and, you know, learning solos like this can really, you can, it can change your playing. Because you, you can learn, you can go, well, wow. That's so cool. I, I never I never saw that A chord there before. And you know, it can help you sort of unlock how this whole thing works. Now we're gonna go. And that's tough, because we gotta get a little finger here on um, E11, because we're now we're on the B chord. So that's the third of the B chord, and we're bending up to the root. So it's that on the first two. And then, That's tricky. We got the B, and it's like a B7. So we're gonna bend this there, all the while holding this note, the A note on the B string. So we've got an upstroke. tricky playing. Such a cool lick. And then we're gonna go And that, again, now, is because we're still in the B, we're creating an A over B there. And we're just sliding up. First fret, or first finger on G4. And slide the middle finger from 5 to 6. 
and they get your B note here on E7. Creating that A over B. And then, so that's E string, B string, G string, and then open B. Again. And then we're going to finish it off with this lick. That's a tough lick. Now I like to do that with my little finger and my second finger. So we're going to pull off from the third fret of E to the second open. And then B3 back to open E. And then we go down. So pull off exactly like but here. the solo. Super cool. Really excellent guitar playing. And like I said, you can learn so much by learning solos like this. Okay, let's do the whole thing slowly. And of course, live, he's playing all those parts. So up to speed, um, live, he'd be more like. Awesome song and just excellent guitar playing. And you know, like I said, I probably said this three or four times already, but you can't stress enough how important it is to learn stuff like this. It can just unlock stuff for you and just make you see connections between the fretboard, the chords, the third, the fifth, the root, you know, so many things, as well as learning techniques, you know, like hybrid picking. Speed looks stuff like that. There's so much to it. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this. I hope you enjoy playing it, and we'll talk to you next time.